You are claiming £1,106.20. Mm -hmm. You say that is for harassment. Mm -hmm. What is the basis of your claim for harassment, madam? I looked out my bedroom window and Dale's van was parked outside and he was stood outside. Um, shouting and screaming, wants his money, um, started talking about my son's dad. No, um, no I never. I turned yeah. around and said, the reason I took him away, I, I'd pay for him to go on. Talking! <laughs> Carry on. You'll have a chance okay. to respond. Um, started being really aggressive and abusive. There had been a mention that his dad would be ashamed of him or something. Oh, what? Leave it out. Carry on. Um, yeah, exactly. Carry oh, on. God. Uh, so I'm shaking. Don't um, shake, I need to know. He then was threatening to pass the debt. He said it's the debt and that he was going to pass it on to somebody, meaning someone... I understand. Yeah. So, basically threatening to send people to my house with my kids in it. Um, my neighbour come out to her car, she's just minding her own business, and he's gone over to her, shouting and screaming at her. She's a prostitute, don't trust <laughs> her, she's this, she's that. I then rung Frank at work and I was crying, I was shaking, I was and in a state. Did you come home from work? Yes, I did. Did you lose income as a result? Yes, I did. What did Mum say to you on the phone? Uh, that Dad was just coming round to the house screaming and shouting, calling her names and stuff like that. And what was the state of Mum when you got home? She was shaking like mad and crying her eyes out. And it's caused a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of stress and panic and everything. You showed up at the house, did you not? Yeah, then basically, can I... What happened? Well, what happened was she deleted Before us all off of, yeah. off of her Facebook. So, obviously, because we had the outstanding money owed to us, like, I was panicking, so alarm bells started to ring, and I thought to myself, well, I'm never going to get this money now because she's blocked me, and I've got no way of getting hold of her. So I was panicking. So I'm thinking to myself, well, hang on a minute, this ain't on. So I went round to the house, this banged on the door, as she said, yep, yeah, I'm not denying that. And then she came to the top window, and then I turned around and said, look, oh, yeah. uh, what's, gonna, what's happening about my money? Um, what's happening about my money? She said, well, I'll get you money. I said, well, when are you going to get it then? I said, because obviously it's been a long, long time now. You were screaming and shouting and yeah, swearing. Yeah, well, we all, yeah, both. But you she were was screaming she was, and shouting and she swearing. She was shouting and all in. She, she's not the, the, the quiet one you think she is. Do you know what Do I mean? Do you think I've got the concluded view that that woman over there is about to assist Meghan Markle on how to behave when she no, gets exactly. into the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I just highlight on the sofa? Because um, that's <laughs> you see, a little bit. Let me bit. help you with the sofa. Yeah. Look at my face. OK. OK. <laughs> OK, that's fine. <laughs> OK, I'll leave that one where it is. You don't want £1,000 for a sofa, do you? No. That's fine. Just want it recognised that it was actually done. <sighs> Dal, yep. Leah, this is a very straightforward contract for a holiday. Question is whether or not you had an enforceable contract with Leah to pay for mm. her and her daughter's portion of this... Christmas trip. At the start of the case, and very nearly towards the end of it, I was going to dismiss it. Yeah. And I'm about to now. Because you don't have an enforceable contract. Nothing in writing. And I have a defendant who tells me, as far as she's concerned, this was a jolly old gift. In law, you can't enforce that sort of thing because... Frankly, unless it's in writing, that's all courts would deal with. There's no intention to create legal relations. Sometimes you do things for people, friends, families, etc., and the courts mm. cannot get involved. And that, sir, is the end of the matter. However, I am perfectly satisfied, bearing in mind the messages that I've seen, mm -hmm. both from Leah and also from Frankie, that it was thoroughly and perfectly understood that Leia had to pay her portion of this trip. What's more, even if she did not understand that at the time, subsequently she made a clear promise in a message that she would pay that money back. That was a new contract, an offer she made to you, an offer which you accepted. You are consequently entitled to the value of the holiday, her portion, which is £927. The court awards you that £927. I do not award you the £60 for the to and fro from the airport. 
or indeed for the water park tickets. Ah. That was, sir, uh, part and parcel of what went on in the holiday. Yeah. There was no separate contract, there was no separate discussion about that sort of thing. Madam, I accept you had a fright and it was unpleasant. What's more, I accept that you lost some wages coming home to look after Mum. Now, the responsible thing to do in the circumstances, however challenging it was, was to call the police. But you, I'm afraid to say, as a matter of law, do not have a basis to sue Dow for any damages. And I feel fairly sure you won't hear from Dow or Joe ever again. Understood? Yeah. Your counterclaim is consequently dismissed. This court awards you £927. You. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge in the moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel right now. That's an order.